councillors of state can be called upon to stand in for the monarch should they be absent from duties. As it stands, those set to replace King Charles III if need be are his wife Camilla, the Queen Consort, his sons Prince William and Prince Harry, his brother Prince Andrew and his niece Princess Beatrice. Piers Morgan, 57, shared his view on the rule, which sees Princess Anne not in the lineup. In view of his 8 million followers, he wrote, absurd. I sincerely hope King Charles changes this ASAP. His opinion prompted many of his fans to share their thoughts. Sue Rayner commented, Anne should be counselor not Harry or Andrew. She has more than earned the right and privilege. Act now King Charles. Rose Ailing Ellis plays along with romance assumption after Split Arkers wrote, if we didn't know it already, it's now quite clear that Anne is the absolute rock and engine room of the family. The unofficial matriarch. Pretty sure he will, Elaine Simpson long added. Under the Regency Act 1937, councillors of state include the spouse of the king or queen and the next four people in line to the throne who are aged over 21. Princess Anne is excluded because, at the time she was born, male heirs had first right to the throne over females. The succession to the Crown Act 2013 later came into place, putting an end to the system of male primogeniture. With this, it gave women equal rights to men, however, the rule is not retrospective and only applies to those born after October 28, 2011. Others have called for a change after noting that Prince Harry and Andrew are non-working royals. In 2020, the Duke of Sussex stepped down from his senior royal duties with his wife Meghan Markle. Piers Morgan swipes at Prince Andrew and selfish Brad Harry, opinion Kirsty Alsop backs King Charles III over redundancies backlash, revealed Katie Holmes, 43, cuts dramatic figure with nose ring and hooded dress, pictured. They later resided in Los Angeles, where they continue to live with son Archie, 3, and Lilibet, 1. Prince Andrew, a former Royal Navy officer who served in the Falklands War, was stripped of his honorary military titles, HRH status and royal patronages this year as he faced a civil sexual assault case brought by Virginia Jufrey. He has vehemently denied all of the allegations and the case has been settled out of court. The Queen died surrounded by her loved ones at Balmoral last Thursday aged 96. Paying tribute to the late monarch, Piers said on his talk TV show, while this is one of the saddest and most momentous turning points in the history of the United Kingdom. There is nobody in this country or the world who hasn't lived the majority of their lives under the reign of Queen Elizabeth II. For 70 years she has served this country with outstandingly dedicated duty. I struggle to even imagine a Britain without this Queen. But with great sadness we now have to imagine it because the moment we've all been dreading has finally come. And tonight everything changes. Her death is an enormous blow not just to the British people but to our national psyche. He went on to praise King Charles for his handling of his mother's death ahead of her funeral next Monday, 